What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome to a unpackaging video, because it's not in a box. In this video, we're going to be unpackaging the 2016 December Lootwear. The reason I waited so long to do this on my channel is because I got one of these in a long time ago, probably like three weeks ago, but I think I got my second one within the past two or three days. So basically, they had another production snafu like last month, where they couldn't, something was delayed. And so they sent half of the loot wear and then I had to wait for the other half and instead of doing two separate videos I figured I'd just wait and do one big video because I don't like once you do two separate videos I see the spoiler card so I know what I'm gonna get it's not as fun anyways if you're interested in getting these I'll go to put all the pricing details in the description below they had a really good deal at one point I don't know if it's still there but they were selling like sock shirt and the underwear for $20 and I didn't jump on that so I gotta check take a look because I do want to try getting the underwear at least one month just to see how it is but right now I think I still just have the socks the t-shirt the wearable and the loot for her all right all right once you pull the tab which I'm not gonna lie I already pulled it but my address label was just smack dab like smack in the camera so you won't see that part sorry and you open up the package well, let's see. Let's actually open up this one. I'm going to pull the tab, but you're not going to be able to see it. Ready? Once you pull this tab, you're going to see this, which is exciting because it looks kind of, I think this is the wearable and it looks like a, almost like a hoodie or like a sweatshirt hoodie. And this, I know you can't see anything. It's really unhelpful. My bad. Okay. The first item we have, this is going to be our loot tee, I believe. Is this an Invader Zim shirt? It looks like an Invader Zim shirt. This is a, oh, yep, it's a Nickelodeon Invader Zim loot wear exclusive. It's a men's medium. This is a black shirt. And there you go. We got an Invader Zim shirt. I didn't really watch Invader Zim. I just know of it because I watched Nickelodeon. So I did see it on. It just, I never actually caught on to watching it. It's actually a cool shirt. I like the graphic. It's simple. It's not too in your face. And I like that they kind of went a little bit old school, which is nice. Because Inv Invader Zim isn't still on, is it? Next, we got whatever this is. This must be the loot for her. This is a cool little bag that it came in this month. Ooh. This is cool. Okay, I like this. So the loot for her used to be called loot accessories, I think. And it was basically like things for women and then they changed it for loot for her and then recently we've only gotten clothing items but I'm glad to see that this month we got a spider Gwen this is like a wallet yes we haven't received something like this from them in a while for the loot for her which I'm very excited about because this is a little bit more useful sometimes we get like skirt like we've received skirts and like weird things that I'm just not a fan of but I actually, this is stuff that I can use, which is nice. I don't know if this is something that I'm going to keep yet, but it's a useful item. And it's actually pretty cool. I like how simple it is. I wish I was a little bit more fan of the pink. I'm not, uh, I know it looks purple. I guess it's a little bit purple. It's like purple pink. I'm not a huge fan of that color, but this is a cool, a cool wallet. You've got your coin purse in the middle. I like this. That's very nice. And then it came in this pouch which is cool too next we have this looks like our wearable oh yes 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 I don't even know what the heck this is from guys why does this look seem so big what size is this so this is a men's medium I don't know what this is from but I love it <laughs> I love when they give us these hoodies that are a little bit thinner so they're not thick hoodies but they're really cool they're almost like the same material as a long sleeve shirt but it's a hoodie so it has a hood and it's got the pockets right here for your hands and I really enjoy that just because it gives me a little bit warmth but not too much I usually run hot so these are perfect for me now I have no idea what this is from oh it's from Rick and Morty okay Still had no idea, but I love this, and I am excited to wear this. I love the one that I got. It was like a Space Invaders one. I got a long time ago. I really enjoyed that one. All right, and last we have our socks. I don't think I've ever done the socks last. I think this is the first time, which is cray cray. Okay, wow, these are... Oh, so we got our BB-8 socks. These they gave to us for free because of the late arrival of our items, which is cool. I have, I think I have, I'm not going to lie, like five of these these specific BB-8 socks, but I like them. Our first pair of socks are Mr. Robot socks. These are crew socks. I would say these are a little bit athletic. They're very thick. The The top part looks a little bit short. I don't know how, how high these go up. The next pair of socks that we got are Rocket the Raccoon socks. So these are Marvel Rocket 
the raccoon socks. They say rocket on the foot. And these are crew socks as well. These are nice and thick too. All right, so that's all of the items. Let's go and do some pricing. Now I pay, what do I pay? I'm getting the combos. I changed everything to get the combos. If you guys are planning on getting this and you're okay putting down, not extra money, but getting multiple things, their combos are actually really good deals. So I would suggest doing that. Yeah, so the wearable with the socks was twenty, about $21. And the, oh, this is really old. I'm sorry, you guys. I have not updated this in a long time. My bad. I will try to make sure that I give you guys updating pricing because that was old. That's really old. That's when they still had the level up. So if you get the wearable by itself, it's $15. But if you do wearable and socks, it is $21 if you get the one month plan. It gets a little bit cheaper as you get more months uh, together. Or you can get the socks, the shirt, and underwear for $16.99 a month. That's cheap. That's really cheap. That's really good. Okay, I need to change that because right now I think I'm, they had a combo at one point where it was, it was the shirt and the loop for her for 20 and then the wearable and the socks for about 20-ish. So I need to change that because the, the shirt with the socks and the underwear, that's a good deal. That's really good. Okay, I'm upset. Now I need to change it. Cause yeah, if you get the underwear, it's $10 a month. If you get the shirt, it's $9 a month. The socks are $10 a month. The wearable is $15 a month. So, for the, the socks, the shirt, and the underwear for $17 a month, if you add all that together, it's almost $30. So that you save almost a little over $10, which is really good. Well, I need to change that. So based off the pricing that I paid for, we're going to say that we paid about $20 to $21 for each bundle. Um, let's see. I don't actually know for sure how much I paid, but oh, my shirt's here. So uh, I like the shirt. I would rate this. Oh, should I rate it for you guys? I would get this shirt, I would say 4.5 out of 5 moves. I like how they went a little bit old school. I like the design. I like the feel of the shirt. It's a good shirt. If I had to write this, the only my only gripe about this is I don't know if this would be fully $15 worth if you bought this separate, which I, I, since it's not in a bundle, you have to pay for this separately now. Technically, I think I paid around $10 for this because it is bundled with the shirt. But at the end of the day right now, it would be $15. I would give this thing... I'd probably say four to five noobs. I'm not a huge fan of the color scheme, but I do appreciate that they gave us not just a random clothing item, but they went back kind of more to the accessory part of it. I just hope they do a mixture, because I really did like, we got, my favorite one was a, we got this BB-8 wallet that was just like this, but it was BB-8, and I loved it. It was so cool. This is a cool one. I would say, though, that this is probably only worth around $12. This hoodie, I absolutely love this hoodie, and if you get the bundle, this comes out to be about $10, maybe a little bit more, and I think that's completely worth it. And I love when they give us not just a long sleeve shirt, but something that's a little bit more, like, more substance to it. I would give that a, I would give that a five. I really enjoy that. Socks, I'm not a huge fan of the designs this month, to be honest. I don't really like either pair. I hate brown. And, but I do like Rocket. I just, I'm not a huge fan of brown. And then I just don't really understand the Mr. Robot thing going on. I know that that's a big thing right now, but it creeps me out a little bit. I would probably give the socks this month. I mean, they're definitely worth the $10 that you would have to pay for these. I would probably give these just a four out of five noobs. So my overall rating would be a four point, the average rating between all of these is a 4.375 out of five noobs. Price-wise, I think you get your value with all these things, except for potentially the wallet, although I know sometimes these wallets can be expensive, so it just depends. All in all, a good loot wear. I actually enjoy this one, even though I'm not a huge fan of all of the... It's weird, because I'm not a fan of all the franchises that they use, but I love the items that they gave, so I'm a fan of that. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe if you want. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this. What was your favorite loot wear item? I, this month, I would say... Probably this hoodie. I actually really enjoy this Invader Zim shirt too, and I didn't even watch Invader Zim, but I, I do like it. I just, it's just like, it's like a sense of like childhood. They don't make adult shirts that look like this as much anymore. So I appreciate that. And I do appreciate that they gave us a free pair of extra socks for being late, which is nice. But let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!
I didn't take a breath that time. That was disappointing. Uh, once you pull this tab, oh, that was a good one. Oh, my address. 